We uncover pearls of resilience in places we least expect. When I was little, I saw my grandma lying sick in bed. The next day when I woke up, I was surprised to see her making breakfast in the kitchen. And when I asked her why she wasn't in bed, she said, the more I lie down, the worse I'll get. I'm getting better. It's all in here. And that's what she did. She didn't go back to bed, no matter how much my parents and I tried to convince her. This was my very first encounter with resilience. You see, it's crazy how we never look for a deeper meaning behind simple words. We fail to see that even from a very young age, the older generation is trying to pass on their wisdom to us one way or the other. In my case, it was my grandma. I started to consciously explore what resilience meant a couple of years ago when I was diagnosed with a condition called polycystic ovary syndrome. PCOS in short. Polycystic ovary syndrome affects the female reproductive organs. Basically, tiny fluid-filled cysts are formed on the ovaries, almost like little pearls. I used to joke that I'm so classy, even my ovaries were a string of pearls. The role of the ovaries is to release an egg, and we call this process ovulation. And when you have this condition, you don't have ovulation, which means you have irregular or no menstrual cycle at all. You have a hormonal imbalance and you have a number of symptoms like acne, weight gain, hair loss. It's a genetic condition and uh, many women don't even know that they have it unless they go to a doctor. In fact, a Monash University study in women's health has shown that 70% of women are undiagnosed. It doesn't have a cure. And a simple way to find out if you have the condition is to go to a doctor, of course. My doctors told me, you should be glad it's something not life-threatening and then proceeded by saying, your disease can contribute to a number of conditions like diabetes, heart attacks, cancer, depression. It's almost like saying it's none of the above, it's worse. It's hard to describe what it's like to live your life in constant search of answers. You go to different doctors and experts and none of them really know what to do with you. You're anxious all the time and you have constant mood swings. You're happy one minute, and the next thing you know, you're crying your eyes out. That's what being on hormonal pills will do to you. There are some truths you only admit to yourself. You keep them buried within you, hoping you never have to reveal it to anyone. That's what it feels like keeping this part of my life. A chest of pearls buried deep within the forest. Well, you might be thinking why I brought up the pearls as an example again. Have you ever thought about how these treasures of the sea are formed? Turns out, when an irritant, be it a grain of sand or anything else, works its way into an oyster, it gets coated by multiple layers of organic, inorganic material, and it turns into something beautiful and valuable. A pearl. As you learn to cope with your hardships, you grow around your trauma and you turn it into something beautiful, just like a pearl. So, how do we deal with something that is unknown to us? We deal with it in three ways. We believe that this uncertainty is our fault, that somehow we had something to do with it. We think that it will affect all areas of our lives and we think of the permanence of the aftermath. Once we re realize these patterns, what do we do then? When we are devastated by something, it's really hard to tell ourselves that things can get better. There's always this louder voice in our head insisting that we won't. We struggle with this. We either avoid it completely or we face it. 
I think we face it by being resilient. So let me tell you how I formed my pearls of resilience and how you can do it too. Acceptance. It's about acknowledging the uncertainty. Psychologist Kendra Cherry's research has shown that when you recognize that hardships aren't entirely your fault, you're more likely to heal. Once you have passed the denial, you're more likely to move forward. After the acceptance comes the understanding. The understanding of what this uncertainty is and how it can be dealt with. It was really hard for me to accept this condition as part of my life and then later understand how it was affecting my life. It's about understanding that this uncertainty, whatever it might be, is a battle that you have to confront every single day. And yes, it can be draining and exhausting, but you have to find a way to cope with it. I found writing and talking about my condition, my way of coping with it. Journal of Clinical and Diagnostic Research has said that when you share your trauma, you feel less isolated and alone. Sometimes all we need is someone to listen to us. Opening up about trauma can improve your mental and physical health. After the understanding comes the letting go. The letting go of the thoughts that this uncertainty doesn't define who you are as a person. Sounds easy, but this is actually the hardest part. How do you make peace with something you never wanted to have in the first place? You have to be patient with yourself. It's about understanding there's, that there's so much more meaning in life and new possibilities waiting for you, which naturally take time to find you. It took me a long time to let go of the thoughts that this condition doesn't define who I am as a person. And it will continue being that way as long as I allow it. It's all in here. Everyone has the ability to create their own pearl. Through resilience. It took me years, but resilience is timeless. My grandma didn't stay long in bed because she had already formed her pearl of resilience through her years of hardships. And she got up every day and she pushed herself to live her best life because she knew her mental state would help her heal just as much as any medication would. Maybe even more. And just like that, the resilience in her made her into the strong and powerful woman I know she was. There's resilience in every single one of us. Just like how Malala Yousafzai Nobel Prize winner. She didn't let a single bullet define her life or how Stephen Hawking's condition didn't stop him from making the greatest scientific discovery of our times. My grandma carried her pearls of resilience so gracefully that they felt like a necklace around her neck. I hope you find your own pearls and when you do, wear them proudly. Thank you.